Today we're going to show you how to remove a screen assembly from a model 4TH micro pulverizer and then we'll also show you proper installation. The first thing we want to do is remove the dust seal from the opposite of the feed end. This will be followed by the loosening of the four screen cams located at each corner of the screen assembly. In all cases, the cam should be held while loosening or tightening the locking nut. For the purpose of this demonstration, the two cams on the opposite side have already been loosened. Now what we want to do is remove the hold down plate which will expose the feed end of the screen assembly. Now we can remove the screen assembly from the mill main body. Pulling up from one end until the entire screen assembly is free of the machine. What we're doing now is checking to make sure that the actual screen groove is clean before installing the new screen. Now what we'll do is install the screen assembly. It's advisable that you always install the same end of the screen at the same end for any future reference needed in troubleshooting possible screen failures. Simply put, start the end bar into the screen groove and just feed it continually until it comes up on the feed end of the mill and making sure that the end bar gets seated with the dust seal. So now that we've installed the screen, we want to use the four cams to center the screen in the groove and then tighten the locking nuts. It should be noted that the position of the screen assembly does not need to come up flush with the main body, but should be centered symmetrically so that the end bars are making contact with the dust seals. Here David is just snugging them to make sure that the screen is centered. You'll note that David is using two wrenches, one to hold the screen cam in place while tightening the locking nut. This is important because the two opposing screen cams will loosen if you don't hold it in place, while the other two opposing cams will tighten the screen if you don't hold it in place. This will ultimately result in a screen failure. Now with the screen assembly installed, we're going to replace the dust seal at the opposite end. Please note that when you have a dust seal with inserts, the backing, which has an L profile, will normally face the other dust seals so that you have the two Ls facing one another. Now we want to finish up by installing the hold down plate which is positioned with the two locating pins extending out of the feed trough. Some pressure downward may be necessary in order to get it seated over the dust seal. Okay, now that we have the mill housing cover closed, it's important to note that the first bolts to be installed and tightened are the two horizontal bolts on each side of the feed trough and the housing cover. This will pull the housing cover into the feed trough where it's supposed to be located and maintain the hold down plate in its proper location. Failure to do so may result in the hammers impacting the hold down plate. Once these two bolts are tightened, then the four vertical swing bolts to the housing cover can be put in place and the I-nuts tightened. 